That's a fallacy. I don't believe that is true. Uh, the venture capital business being part of pharmaceuticals, which is also one much more expensive than energy in much longer time frames. It typically seven to ten years to get a drug approved. These are much shorter cycles than that. So yes, it is different than say dot coms, which most of the press thinks about. But traditional venture capital has dealt with semiconductors, with equipment, with uh, computing equipment. Those are long cycles. It's not unusual, other than outside the internet world, to have five, seven year cycles. And the drug pharmaceutical biotechnology cycle is much longer. So it will fit right into both the risks and the capital required as well as the timelines for venture capital. Now, besides those are temporary between technologies will get cheaper than their fossil competitors, and then there'll be no re need for any incentives. I'm not a big fan of subsidies and other things for clean technologies. I've said this many often, and if they do exist, they should be very short periods of time to get them started. Uh, but these things have to be economically viable. I believe things like a carbon cap and trade system worldwide, like IOTA 2, um, I know that's not the right technical name for it, we'll call it Bali, <laughs> uh, it's the successor to IOTA, will create the incentives. Today, in this country, if you ask somebody what coal power costs to produce, if you're talking about a 30-year-old coal power plant, it's probably four or five cents a kilowatt hour. If you ask them about a new coal plant being built today, it's more like eight cents a kilowatt hour or nine cents a kilowatt hour. That's the IGCC plant that almost all utilities are considering. So even coal in this country has become extremely expensive because of pollution control requirements. As those get adapted, the fossil alternatives uh, will become very expensive. And we see this happening everywhere, in Europe and here. Because of environmental constraints, things like so much mercury in the air from coal power plants, so sulfur dioxide and acid rain have resulted in increased costs for coal-based power, and that's uh, making the alternatives more competitive. 